Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will be learning about dated if function. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. So, if you're a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now, without further ado, let's get started with our one point agenda that is stated if function in Excel. Now we might have to switch to the practical mode for that. Now we have started our Microsoft Excel and here we have our empty worksheet. So dated if function is majorly used to find the differences between two individual dates. So it is also called as dated if by a few people and a few people also reference it to date diff. That is date difference. So anything is good. Now to find the difference between any two dates, let's select a few dates. So the first date would be, uh, let us imagine that you're an employee and you wanted to find out how many years that you've been working with an organization. So for that, you might want to need today and the date where you joined the company, right? So it might be date of joining and today. So what's the difference, right? So let us imagine that you joined the organization somewhere around 2010, 0, 1, zero five two thousand ten and today so for today can you can give any particular date let us imagine that uh, today is first of january 2021 or 2022 now we have up both the dates that is the joining date and the current date which can be the current date so the day can be anything so you might be watching this on a different date as well so the date of that day for today would be a little different so we'll imagine the today's date as an imaginary date now we might want to find the difference that is in terms of years so you wanted to find the difference in terms of years so here you can find the difference in terms of years days and months as well so currently, let's try to find out the difference in terms of years. So for years, you might want to specify the third parameter in the date diff function as y. If you wanted months, you have to give the m as the third parameter. And if you wanted to find the days, you might want to give d as the third parameter. Uh, so we have discussed the third parameter. So what are the first two parameters, right? So the first two parameters are the first date and the last date. So the first date in this situation is your date of joining and the last date or the final date which you want here as your today. So let's find the difference. So for that equals to, so it can be dated if or date diff. So date if and the first date which is the A2 and comma the last date that is B2 and your parameter third parameter in terms of years that is y close the bracket and press enter so there you go you have your date here so it's been like 11 years that you're working with your organization so that's how you find out the differences so we have 11 years because uh, we did not finish the 12th year completely so if we had given the month as uh, maybe six where we have finished our total years then it will automatically change to 12 years. So that's how you work with dated F function in Excel. If you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, or if you feel that we have messed up something important, please do let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest. And we're also happy to receive any of your suggestions from your end. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.